I think yesterday, one of the key points we wanted to communicate was um, OTT, uh, or the delivery of content through a uh, internet, internet enabled uh, device, um, is growing extremely fast. Um, it's a uh, new medium in which uh, consumers are obviously consuming content um, on demand based on their um, you know, sort of consumption habits and how they want to view content. Um, and Freewheel really, um, you know, our responsibility is to enable uh, the broadcasters that have that content um, to be able to monetize those audiences. Um, so I think one of the exciting things that we're seeing is just the, the overall um, progress in terms of the uh, adoption of OTT. And now we're seeing advertisers really targeting um, audiences that are consuming content on, um, you know, on demand through an OTT device. Um, you know, and we're obviously enabling those, those consumers to be reached. The real benefits of OTT are the fact that it's, it is an IP enabled environment. Um, and so I think it is very early um, in OTT as a, as a medium. And so we're now starting to see OTT being adopted at scale. Um, I think the exciting thing is, is that because it's an IP enabled environment, a lot of the targeting capabilities and, and data targeting opportunities will potentially exist in an OTT environment. I don't think we're 100% there yet. Um, but y you can assume that o over time we will be able to target specific audiences in, OT in an OTT environment. Um, we can also look at how we can do uh, reach and frequency capping within, within OTT. So I think, I think it is still early days as it relates to OTT. Um, the good thing is, is that we, are still, we do have the ability to marry some of the benefits of digital advertising in an OTT environment and that will um, only grow over time. I think we're going to see just a continual evolution and so to predict five years from now what television is going to look like, I think that's, uh, I think right now we're really trying to predict what, what it looks like six to 12 months from now. Um, I think one thing is for sure is that live content will still be consumed in a television environment. Um, you know, how that content is being consumed, whether it's in, a, it's, whether it's in an OTT type application or on a phone, uh, that, that's obviously going to change and evolve. Um, and I think what you'll see is the ability to plan digital advertising campaigns across multiple environments, um, which, will then take, which will also take into consideration traditional linear television as well as live television planning. And so you'll see really a, a unification of all of the screens, including really what is the most important screen is linear television and um, you know, kind of live television. I think one of the biggest opportunities is really OTT itself as a medium. Um, you know, uh, a year ago, a couple of years ago, OTT was kind of this this new environment. Oh, you know, people are actually consuming you know live sports in a in, on a Xbox, for example. Um, you know, and I think marketers you know, maybe didn't 100% buy into that medium and at the same time publishers or broadcasters didn't necessarily, um, you know, sell that as a standalone product. It was more complementary to a traditional buy or, or a value add, if you will. And I think now what we're seeing is just the, the overall consumer adoption of consuming content on demand in a, you know, in whether it be in a binge type environment or you want to just, you know, consume live sports in a, um, you know, in a, in a IP enabled environment versus, you know, a traditional uh, television environment. And I think what you're now seeing is marketers are going after that specific audience and they're targeting OTT, OTT um, as, a, as a format. Um, and because we now have consume, consumer adoption where it is, we can do that at scale. Um, and so Freewheel is 100% is, is focused on enabling OTT audiences to be targeted uh, at scale. You know, a key um, component of uh, personalized advertising is a, is a device ID um, and being able to connect that to a, to a known user. And right now we still see a considerable amount of fragmentation with regard to device IDs in the OTT environment. And so there really isn't a unification uh, in an OTT environment like there is a, a cookie, for example, or a, or a, or a, um, um, a UDID um, in, in mobile. Um, so I think we still need adoption of a universal identifier um, in an OTT environment. That really will unlock then the ability to personalize an ad, similar to what we do in sort of desktop digital video or mobile, where you know 
RTB and programmatic, we're looking at every single impression on an impression by impression basis, um, using a unique identifier to then target a specific ad for that user or that audience.